leaving my hotel at the moment. I'm heading for 229 South, 29 North, 90 West. Heading for Billings, Montana this morning. Going through an area just now, looks like there's some uh, tornado damage up in some of these areas over there. You can see trees snapped off and things like that. We had uh, about 30 tornadoes roaring through this very area uh, the other night when we came in. A little to the northwest of here, Manchester, they had an M4, which is a uh, uh, the second we do it, the most powerful tornado that uh, there is on the prodigious scale, so kind of interesting. Uh, Chamberlain, South Dakota, right near Missouri River. Just a couple of miles up the road a piece here, there is a scenic uh, lookout at the rest area, so I think I'm going to uh, pull in there for a minute and see if I can grab a picture or two. I don't know. further west. When we get where we're going, we'll be the first to know. So we're going to cross the Missouri here now, and down on I-90, cross the bridge, cross the Great Missouri River, and we're going to be going into the Badlands of South Dakota. here because I want to go see Mount Rushmore even though I'm going to be here in a couple of weeks time might not necessarily get a chance to get out and see it so lots of steep hills here strains this van a little bit going up and down it's old going to a little town of Keystone oh, I got a this place looks like it's been burnt down over there by the fire by the looks of it get the horse and wagon out Tons of souvenir places back over this side. Here it is, Mount Rushmore. A couple of shots. Driving back into Rapid City, taking kind of the back road, taking the kind of nice scenery through here, so I'm kind of glad I ended up going this way. Heading in toward Rapid City. Just past to Sturgis, South Dakota, not far from the uh, Wyoming border. Sturgis, uh, Fort Meade is here, and they also have a national cemetery. <laughs> here 
here called the Black Hills National Cemetery. Uh, also, the Motorcycle Hall of Fame, uh, just for interest's sake. Uh, that's in Sturgis, South Dakota. Mile marker coming up, 27 miles from the Wyoming border. Just about to enter the great state of Wyoming. I don't know, Wyoming. There she be, right there. Great state of Wyoming. On the road to Devil's Tower, a little bit farther, I probably should have gone one more exit because it's about 43 miles up this road. This is very much like the countryside in uh, shots in, um, in uh, Close Encounters where they faked uh, some kind of a, a poison or poison gas and they had all the dead cows in the field but they weren't really caused by poisoning and they were trying to keep people away from Devil's Tower so they wouldn't, uh, uh, so they could land this spacecraft, but uh, as we all know, they were unsuccessful. Look at all the, sh the cows out in that field. There it is, off in the distance, Devil's Tower, Wyoming. That's where I'm hidden. For a little close encounters of my own kind. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Devil's Tower coming up. Around in the corner. You're going to see it right in front of you there. Be the place. That concludes the trip to Devil's Tower. I made it. I wanted to see that. That was very important. Wow, that's great. So we saw Rushmore and Devil's Tower on the same day. Something else I could have caught when I was in the area, Yellowstone uh, National Park is right in here. <coughs> Fortunately, I, my day is just about done. I'm tired and i still got a long way to go. I don't think there's time to be stopping at Yellowstone. It's a nice country. It's different. Beyond the hill that we're coming up on, there is mountains, real mountains behind us. Just recording myself. Out there over Montana, way in the distance here is a range of mountains, probably not. Kind of a nice sight coming down. Hill here. Here you go. Coming into Montana. Going to Montana soon. Gonna be a dental floss tycoon. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Get a couple of pictures.